Right, what is up you guys, Sage here and uh, today we're reeling off some of these even more controversial thoughts um, or feelings and, and where they're rooted because I say these things and it's very easy to take them out of context and not understand where they're coming from, what they mean. So I thought, now nah, let me just take this time to expand on some of these thoughts. Um, I'm Sage Omoi Omoi sold supplements in high school from selling supplements, read 13 now, um, business uh, slash self-improvement books, um, went from those books to taking action, started a personal training company, personal training to coaching, coaching to business. And here we are today, expanding our knowledge um, and sharing the, the journey of just expanding and of self-development and the development business. So some of these videos are going to be covering the business side of things. Some of these videos are going to be covering more of the self-development part of things. And a part of that is cultivating thought and really looking into what is a cause worth fighting for for me i've always been someone who i'm I'm proud of of my name i'm proud of my family name i'm proud of my my heritage my ancestors you know and the the, the bloodline very much so but for me and i i, I can't do anything but uh, sort of thank the the creator for 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 putting this in me that's never been enough it's a lot trust me it's a lot and it's it's pressure and it's something that i fight for and and that fuels me definitely but i always felt that there's there's more to fight for than just me myself personal gain my you know and in in embarking on this on this journey of of not only improving self but but improving overall i've found that Man, Africa's hurt. As a nation, we, we've we been wronged, you know? I don't want to use the R word on, on YouTube, but um, yeah, um, without our consent, a lot has been taken from us and it still doesn't belong to us today. There are things that are illegal according to the United Nations today that are, okay, it is illegal to occupy a nation and to force your culture upon a people on top of that to be in control of of their resources to come in to force your religion on them to do all of those things illegal to to start today but there are systems that are in place that have that were formed in that way and they still now use our resources to empower themselves they use our people's strength to empower their own people. Um, something I earlier, okay, let's start here. The greatest minds in Africa have once migrated to the north, and this is to, to Egypt and, and, and to, to go do those things. That was a long, long time ago. Now Africa is hurt and her people are coming home. And you see this in real time. You see people coming back south. And people wanting to come do things here and, and wanting to come. And, and of course, you can say, no, economically, South Africa is really in a good place. But they, they're not migrating to Nigeria. Nigeria is, is not the, the worst spot ever. And I'm sure there are other places on the continent that are also not doing too bad. But particularly, they migrate to South Africa. Africa is hurt and her people are coming home, called by Nzalu Elanga. Nzalu Elanga is... A very sacred place that has been that we have been barred from you know you're not allowed to go there because they they say there's um and, and it's a it's a nature reserve because they're protecting the trees around there but the trees around there belong to one company and and that and that that company's people and those trees were planted there around in zalu they're, they're they're not indigenous to to the place and so that's a very, very sacred shrine because it, it, it is, has very deep rooted connections with the origins of mankind as a whole. And I believe a place that's sacred can't, shouldn't belong to one person or the rights to visit it or, or, or shouldn't be just given to one person. I mean, that's our Mecca. 
you know that's our our core that's a place where we should all be able to go on pilgrimages to we go visit we go be in the energy i mean if you go to that place with a compass the compass goes haze goes haywire because of the electromagnetic fields that that, that are just there um if you look it up you'll you'll recognize the stones and and that's uh it's also called adam's calendar right that's it's it's a very very important place and um i feel like it's calling their people and this spiritual energy is calling us together to create and i believe that a time of awakening is among us i do because those those great minds that were going north are now coming here and i don't think that's by accident i don't think that's by mistake you know Empowering our monarchs is the cure to this unjust failing democratic system. So I'm I'm taking this information in and I'm 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 seeing some things. I'm obviously watching things, watching these podcasts with um former leaders, uh current leaders, stuff like that, and people who actually are are coming up with solutions because they've been in the game their entire lives, you know. I mean, I don't know. That's why my my theory and my my solution to all this was okay, let's just empower ourselves um in terms of uh this 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 game that they want us to play, this capitalism game. Let's play this game. Let's get incredibly efficient at this game and let's take back what belongs to us, you know, from the inside out. Um and then obviously leaders who've been in the space for much longer than I have have much broader spectrum solutions which is even even if which i'm going to continue to do which is like push learn push this business thing at the end of the day even when we are fishing and we're fishing for ourselves and it's our own companies we're still going to be paying rent and tenants and 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 to say the government and the government is working for basically the government is funded by the jewish and our land is basically owned by by private sectors which are owned by the jewish and we're basically still working for the queen you know because people signed treaties a long long time ago to give up land and and equity and ownership of certain things to to the queen right and our kings and queens now don't have land and they don't have that power and they don't so if we're talking generationally and going far into the future um if we empower our monarchs once more then we know that whatever we that that we know that the land belongs to us this isn't just a black people thing this is a south africa thing we know that our land belongs to us and we're not working for that queen we're not working for england we're not working for israel we're working for south africa south africa is working for south africa africans are working for africa because a lot of and this is not only a, a south african thing this is across the board in africa where laws have been made to sort of legally keep stealing the the resources right where the these places what well, what what's produced in england what's potatoes literally all you can produce potatoes you know um in terms of natural resource africa is the richest place but then we have the poorest people and that's because the ownership of those resources and minerals no longer belongs to us and it hasn't in a long time and I, and the only solution is to re-empower our monarchs to re-own our own resources um and then we can go from there probably going to hit one last point um okay maybe one or two second last one is our fathers brothers sons are dying to protect the interests of politicians and their funders. So this is going back to the the Israelis, the Jews um funding the the politicians into choosing certain issues over others. Um like right now today we have soldiers that are deployed to certain places to go fight in certain wars that have nothing to do with us or our interests. And yeah, our fathers, brothers, sons are dying to protect those people's interests. And I think that's something that the world, that South Africa ought to know. And so I'm going to say it too. Lastly, they're going to have to kill me. Africa will be liberated. 
perhaps by my son or his, but I'll die fighting. I didn't know, talking, referring to these things. I didn't know, I now know, and there's still so much to learn, but that is a promise. They're gonna have to kill me. Africa will be liberated. I wanna end on that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Sage, signing out.